Bro, it's 5.30. Like, it does not need to be this dark right now. Fuck daylight savings or whatever it is. Um, I'm writing a career paper right now, bro. This makes my blood boil, dude. Like, writing a career paper as someone who, like, already knows that they're going to be an entrepreneur just drives me crazy. Um, choose three occupations that interest you the most. Uh, what would the typical day entail? What personal attributes, blah, blah, blah. What strengths do we... Dude, what would the typical day entail? I don't know. Like, I, I can't think of three things I want to do. I know what I want to do. Whatever. So, this is, like, hell. I'm going to get such a bad grade on this because I'm just going to keep it real. I'm not listing three things. I'll just be like, nah, I run a profitable business. Like, a <laughs> profitable, you know. Just kidding. Like, we make some money. <laughs> not enough yet, though. <laughs> but, exactly. Like, I already know what I want to do. So, like, this is just, like, stupid to me. It's kind of a big part of my grade. And... You know, I kind of got to do it. But I'm, I'm going to get a terrible grade on it. Because I'm not going to bullshit for this lady. Like, <laughs> What would the typical day entail? Being a employee? I don't know. Being, like, miserable? No, thank you. Not for me. Whatever. So, we'll, we'll change it there. But, yeah. So, I'm, I'm doing that right now. I have to, like, force my, physically force myself to do homework. It's terrible. Because I know I have other stuff I have to do, too. Like, actual, like, business stuff that I, like, care about. That actually makes me money. Not right now. Whatever. But I know I need to do this first. Because there's, no, like, once I get my actual stuff done, there's no shot I'm going to have willpower to, like, start an essay. It's on my power list, though. So, you know, I mean, I'd be completing those every day. Speaking of that, dude, I have a whole pile. Like, right here. And it's kind of messing on my desk. So, I need to hang those up. But, like... I don't, I don't feel like doing that. It takes so much time and, like, effort. And I go, like, I mean, I could just throw them out. But, like, that's not what I do. I like to work next to a wall full of W's, to be honest. It's kind of just my thing. Um, hockey's over for the weekend. I feel I absolutely beat, dude. Another 5 a.m. wake up. So, like, I'm tired. I'm very tired. Um, I'm about to go make coffee low-key. 5.30. I can, I can handle some more caffeine. I'll be up for a while, so. Yeah, but I'm uh, banging out this paper. After that, I need to write up a script for the kid who's helping me with my outbound. That's going to get started this week. Doubling, doubling. And uh, we're going a little bit colder, too, so. The response rate might not be as good. Like, the actual engagement rate and all that might not be as good, but. Volume negates skill. Like the, uh, the little title of this little series we got going on. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for this week. I always get excited on Sunday because like, you know, you got a whole week ahead of you. I already have some uh, some specific focuses for this week. Uh, let's go. Let's go ahead and read them off. Why not? Um, I want to work on a lead magnet because like it's, we have a really like tricky target audience. Like It's very like it's harder to relate to certain things. Like if you take something like. Like fitness, you can apply selling fitness to a lot of different things. Hockey photography, that's a little hard. It's a little harder, a little harder. But yes, yeah, so I want to work on a lead magnet, kind of like, especially for the cold, because, uh, you know, like my boy Hormozy talks about hundred million dollar leads. I literally live by that book. I think I've referenced that book in these videos like five times already. But you know, you gotta blow the audience away, not the audience. You gotta blow the person away within the first like five seconds of them reading it because it's already cold like they don't know you trust you or want to let alone want to buy from you so i gotta figure out a little little lead magnet um i have to finish up this one recruiting video we're doing uh i also have to get started with this one dude from uh that's what i'm really trying to set up i'm trying to set up like subscriptions with like organizations so i've been even emailing with this guy who runs the uahl it's like ultimate adult hockey league, whatever. He wants us to just do editing for him. And that's like so easy. Like that's what I need to do. I need to like a big focus of companies to be monetizing the weekdays. So like I can make money from doing stuff like besides just the weekends. Because we're never going to hit our revenue goal at this rate with just working weekends. Like you need to have stuff to fill in. Like that's not a sustainable business if you can only make money two days of the week. So, yeah, getting set up with them. Uh, 
just overall like the customer journey like just kind of like writing it down like really being clear with it so that way uh can give the best experience possible uh i have to follow up with this one brand that we're working with uh, we're supposed to do a shoot for them soon so that's on here referral incentives like i want to do maybe a referral program because i was when i was going through yesterday's video going through how we got all our past customers and stuff like that a lot of it was inbound like m almost most of it was inbound word of mouth like along those lines and like like that's good that's good but it's also kind of a pro not a problem but it's a little, a little trickier so i need to figure out how we can get our current happy customers to refer us more people because that's where all of our best customers come from I want to change around prices. I want to change around prices. I think that our current price model is just not appealing to our target audience as it should be. Like, I just don't think that they, I don't think they're messing with it. So, I mean, not that they're not messing with it, but I think it could be better. And I think we could charge more, but I think like the way we, because you can obviously structure a price like 20 different ways. 20 like unlimited you can you can mix and match different things and like say it in a different way or like all this kind of stuff so i just need to figure out like what works best and uh what what do people value most because right now like we're charging more for like if we were to do a team photo shoot versus a team video like technically breaking it down it's more for the photos which is stupid because like photos first of all are like easier to get we do less like it's less we don't have to like make a whole edit out of it and stuff like that the video is definitely worth more and that's what people like want more i think so should be charging more for it um what else we got on here yeah getting my virtual assistant started that's a tonight slash tomorrow thing so that's gonna be one of the first things but yeah basically what i'll do this this would be more for like a to-do list video my bad someone was calling me but yeah, I want to do, like, a to-do list video of, like, how I do my to-do list. Um, because this isn't even really a to-do list. It's kind of just, like, writing stuff down that I want to get done this week. Um, but, yeah, like, last night I just was doing some brainstorming, going over. Like, I have a whole page called, like, the Business Growth Blueprint. It's got, like, dude, it's, like, 20 pages long. And I just, I'll kind of, like, skim through it maybe, like, once or twice a week and be like, okay, we got to focus on this now or we have to focus on this now. And, and obviously, I'm always learning stuff, so I'm try to implement different things and you know so like when i when i know i want to do certain stuff like i have let's say a goal for this week and there's a bunch of little little things that need to go into the goal i'll toss them on here and i'll kind of just reference this as i make my power list throughout the week but you guys you guys don't even know about the power list slash to do like you so i need to make a video on that soon i just have to make my to-do list for the week today i do it every sunday so Maybe I'll talk about it. That'll be the video tomorrow. Let's let's say that. Unless I have anything exciting to talk about. <sighs> yeah, I feel like I've covered a lot in this video. School, hockey, business. Not trading. Um, or, or bodybuilding. Uh, yeah, trading. Sunday, I like to have more of like a trading focus than like Saturday. So like yesterday, I'm not going to lie. I didn't even do my trading stuff. Uh... Like, I, I didn't do it. Like, I didn't go over my journals or stuff like that. So, that's not great. But today, I'm going to do it a little bit more, like, in-depth. That's what I was trying to That's what I was trying to say. I'll do it, like, um, I'll pay more attention to it. And I normally like to do it at night because that way, when I wake up in the morning, I'm, like, fresh. I'm, like, oh, yeah. Buy here. Sell here. All that kind of, all that kind of bullshit. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I have to, I have to answer my coach after this and let him know what day I'm coming in this week so we can get my diet set up, posing, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, then the prep series begins, so it's gonna be pretty fun. Loki looking like, I'm looking okay in this video. I'm like, oh, I'm all, I'm looking all right, but <laughs> whatever. Yeah, that's it. I think pretty much. I just like went on like a whole, this is like 10 minutes long almost. Damn. I guess I have a lot to say. But yeah, I'm gonna go write the rest of this essay and 
bro. Yeah.